All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about a new player that we have at the transport layer, and that's Quick. Well, actually, it's not new. It's been around for a little while. It's been driving things like YouTube, Facebook, even mobile apps like Uber, and a whole lot more. Now, on this channel, we spent a lot of time talking about TCP, and that's because it's been the dominant transport protocol for 40 years. But now that the quick RFC has been released and it's officially version one, now the transport layer has a new player in town. Now we should start to see it supporting more and more services, especially across the web. So in this video, I just wanted to take an introduction into quick, show you a little bit about how it works and how we can see it in Wireshark. So stick around. So first let's take a look at a high level why Quick is different than TCP. So maybe by now you've seen a bounce chart or two about this, but let's go ahead and take a look first. So here on the TCP side, I've got a client, I got a server, and let's just say that this is time, all right? So you probably have seen this in other videos of mine or you've seen it in your own copy of Wireshark. TCP first has to set up a three-way handshake. So let's go ahead and draw that in in order to connect. So there's our SYN, SYNAC, and ACK. Now right here, we're already, say sin, sin ack, and then ack. Now right here, we're already at one network round trip. And we don't even have encryption set up yet. So this is still an unsecure connection. In order to do the security, we then have to do a TLS handshake. Now until TLS 1.3, this took several more round trips in order to exchange the certificate, set up the handshake, and get the connection going. But thanks to TLS 1.3, now this is down to just one round trip. So there's our client hello and some parameters. Here's our server hello coming back. And I'm just gonna say transport or TLS rather client, TLS server. And then usually after this, what we'll see is a TLS finished going each way. So really to set up the bulk of the uh, TLS handshake, it really only takes another round trip. So that's our second round trip that we have. Now the application can actually begin to use this connection. So this is where we would usually see either HTTP 1.1 or HTTP 2. I'll just say that this is an H2 get and then we see a response. So we can see that from the beginning of the sin all the way down until we get our first byte of data, so time to first byte, was at least three network round trips. That's if everything went exactly as it should. Now, if I'm sitting real close to a server, that's no big deal. If it's only a few milliseconds away from me, those three round trips aren't gonna cost me a lot of time. But imagine if my server is on the other side of an ocean, or other side of the world. Well, those round trips start to really add up. But now let's take a look at how Quick connects. Okay, so here I have Quick, which by the way, this is not an acronym, this is a name. So this isn't Quick Internet Connections or UDP Internet Connections, this is just Quick. This is not an acronym. So let's keep that in mind as we go forward. So here on the left, I got my client and there I got my server. So Quick, the nice thing, since Quick runs over UDP, there's no need to set up that initial TCP three-way handshake. That's just out the door right there. I just saved myself a round trip, didn't I? So now what I can do is I can send that initial packet to the server with Quick. And within that packet, I'm already sending my TLS hello. So my client side hello is already going in the first packet. So the server can turn around and it can send the TLS server side hello. So TLS, I'll just say server side. And of course, this can be more than one packet. This could be uh, just that initial hello and then I can see there's certificate after it. And then a lot of times I'll see the TLS fin or the finished packet right at the end of that. So a lot of times I'll send one and I'll get three back, but those three come in quick succession. So it's still only one network round trip. Well, after that gets set up, technically I'm good to go. Now the client can begin to send application requests. Now this time it's not gonna be over HTTP two, Quick has HTTP three sitting on top of it. And we'll get more into that later as we go into other videos. Yeah, so an H3 get can sit on top of this and the server can begin to send data. So there's our response. So right there, right out the gate, I buy one network round trip. So Quick 
stands poised to be at least one network round trip faster than TCP. But it doesn't stop there. There's a ton of cool things that Quick does, but it also goes further than this. Quick also has an option to be Quick Zero RTT. What this means, okay, let's do our client, do our server, and draw time here for you. So what this means is in the first communication from the client to the server, the client can already begin to send requests to the server. Now this will only work if these two have had a previous conversation very recently in the past. So some of the parameters can already be known between the two as they're establishing this communication. But from packet one, the client can send an encrypted request and it can begin to get a response all within one round trip. So that's why it's called zero RTT. We don't need to burn a bunch of round trips just to set up the conversation. Now, if you go ahead and fire up a web browser and you open up Wireshark and you start to capture traffic, and if you go out to YouTube, in fact, this very video could be delivered to you over Quick, you're gonna see in Wireshark that Quick is not using TCP, obviously. It's using UDP, but that doesn't mean that it's not reliable or doesn't retransmit or handle flow control. You see, all of the smarts for Quick are just placed right on top of UDP. Now the whole reason for using UDP is because really every kernel stack on the planet practically supports it. So by putting Quick right on top of UDP, we are using a protocol that's already there. It's a thin protocol and it works. If Quick sat directly on top of IP, then there would be a problem in rolling it out. It would take a long time for operating systems and for firewalls and for other middle boxes to know how to support Quick. It would be a long integration time. However, by putting it right on top of UDP, we were able to sail right into that kernel and take advantage of Quick in a much more rapid adoption. All right, so let's review real quick. Uh, get it? What we've learned in this video, just in this intro video. So first of all, Quick, it sits on top of UDP. All right. Second, it also has the possibility of being zero RTT. It also builds in TLS 1.3 right into the protocol. So we don't have uh, TLS 1.3 separated from Quick. It's all built right in. And it also handles flow control and loss recovery right there within the protocol. So that gives us an overview of what Quick is and basically how it works. Now in another video, we'll talk about how to capture it and how to get a little bit deeper into troubleshooting it. But in the meantime, if you'd like to take a look at a deeper dive of Quick, you can go ahead and take a look at my brand new Pluralsight course, which is a deep dive on the Quick protocol. Now in that class, we're gonna be using several different lab examples to get deep into the weeds of Quick using Wireshark. I'm gonna show you how to capture it. I'm gonna show you how to decrypt it. I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot using this protocol. So go ahead and check that out in the description down below. All right guys, thank you for stopping by and I'll see See you on another video.